The following video will highlight some of the new features and support for Lathe in the new Simco Edit 2022. So here we have our NC program open. Next we can go ahead and choose our machine configuration. And we can then go into the global setup and make sure that our setup is correct. So if we go to machine configuration, we can choose our machine has turning. And then if we locate backplot, then here we can check the control type. So here we want to make sure we're choosing the Haas lathe. And then under machine type, again, we want to make sure we're choosing lathe as well. We're also using scanning in this example. So if we go to scanning, we can choose the scan active and C file option. And then we can make sure that we're reading the stock. And then we can go ahead and say, okay, We can then go to the backplot tab and then we can select the backplot window. So to the left then we have our NC program. In the center we have our backplot window. And then to the right then we have our geometry manager. Next, we want to set up our tools, and for this, we can select the Tool Setup icon, and this will open the Tool Manager. So here we have our Tool Manager. The upper section refers to the current document, so all tools that are active within the NC file will appear here. To the right, we have a Tool Preview section, and then to the left and at the bottom, we have a Tool Library. In this example, we're going to create our tools, so for this, we can go ahead and select the add item and then we can choose the assembly. For our first tool, we're going to choose the default turning assembly. And for this, we can just go ahead and say save. For tool two, we can do the same thing again. We choose assembly and then we'll choose the turning assembly. But here we're going to make some changes. So in this example, to edit the root, we can select the root, and then we can choose the edit item component. In here, we can edit the shank width, the head length, functional width, etc. Once we've made our changes, we can go ahead and select save. Under details, we can also input descriptions, we can edit the item number, and we can also input IDs as well. Once we're finished, we can go ahead and select save. We can now go ahead and just check the cutter, and again, we can select the edit item component. And again, we have some parameters which we can edit in here. If we go into details, we can also check the cutter points and also flip the orientation as well. Once we're happy, we can go ahead and select save. For our third tool, we can go ahead and select add item, choose the assembly, and here we're gonna choose the lathe drilling assembly. And again, we can make our edits by selecting the components in the component window. So if we wish to edit our holder, we can change the shank length and the shank width. And then we can select save. 
And then we can do the same thing for the clutter as well. Once we made our changes to the cutter's parameters, we can go ahead and select save. Now we have our three tools fully defined, we can go ahead and exit out of the tool manager. Now that we're all set up, we can go ahead and run the simulation. I will let this run through and make some comments on the way. Please note that during the simulation, a preview of the stock is shown. So if we pause the program, you can see it will take a couple of seconds and then it will update showing the high quality stock. We can also change the visibility of the stock by selecting stock in the geometry manager, right clicking and choosing transparent. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions please email support at simco.com 
or find further information at www.simco.com.